trying to do a video about this little blue flower called Speedwell. And it speeds well through the grass as a way to remember it. it uh, that's the common person's name for it, like me. Um, not the Latin version, so I don't know what the Latin version is, but it's called Speedwell. And it speeds very well through the grasses, as you can see. It's all over this little area. You can see it sped well. This little blue flower that is gorgeous. And <laughs> I'm being overwhelmed by puppy play. <laughs> anyway, so this is all called this beautiful little flower right here is called Speedwell. There's more, I mean, it's all over. It is so gorgeous. It speeds well. <laughs> and puppies speed well as well. And Pepper likes rolling in the speed well. And Inca is swimming through the grasses that are infused with speed well. So you can see there's speed well everywhere. It has sped well. So that's one way to remember this little blue flower is called Speedwell. Here's some bird's foot trefoil or trefoil or whatever you want to, uh, however you want to pronounce it. And it's a beautiful little flower. It looks like a snapdragon head, um, if you can see. But what's kind of interesting is that's when it's in full bloom uh, in its yellow and it has these um, these kind of leaves that are similar to clover but not quite. Um, let's see if I can get a better example. Down here you can see it's kind of got three toes and so the leaves look like duck feet and then the young buds, like this, look like a bird's foot. If you look at that, that could, you could misinterpret that as being a um, bird's foot, like a claw. So that is the bird's foot trefoil. So there's a mature blossom and then there's a young blossom. So that's one way to remember bird's foot trefoil. It's kind of got uh, three aspects of kind of looking like um, a bird's foot. And particularly the, the leaves look like a moor hen's feet or, a, um, or even a duck's foot. So that's, kind of, that's, what a, that's what bird's foot trefoil looks like. They're a beautiful, very productive, excellent for medicinal and uh, worming purposes for um, livestock. So it's great if you have that growing in your fields. Now salad burnet is a really good deep-rooted herb for sheep and also has any livestock that graze. It has this kind of uh, leaf like this with this knobby flower head, that's a bud, this is the flower flowering. So it can be, the flower heads can be f confused with um, plantains. So um, this is a plantain flower head here. So this is a plantain flower head. And this is a bird's foot trefoil flower head. So you can see they can be confusing. But the leaves of the birds, of the um, salad burnet, can be confused with vetch. This is vetch and if I pluck this vetch out you can see these leaves are similar in how they're many kind of leaves on a stalk similar to the salad burnet 
but you can see they're very much different. This, the salad brunette has a very serrated edge, whereas the vetch has very smooth edges. These are both, uh, this is of the um, vetches of the pea family, and we have three or four different varieties here in Ireland that uh, come up different times of year, different times of the year. Some early ones, these are some of the early ones, and then there's autumnal ones. And then this is salad brunette, which uh, has a, a lot of excellent qualities about it, as well as the deep roots means it's very mineral rich. So those are two that can be confused with other plants. Um, the, the salad brunette flowers can be confused with um, plantain and the vetch and their leaves can be confused with vetches, but they're not. They're two very different uh, plants.